Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and that can cost you quite a bit of money. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 4 Series Generation F32, F33, F36. This is the 4 Series BMW, guys, from year 2013 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you need to find where the engine starter relay is located, where you can expect to find it, where you can buy cheap relays, fuses, parts, tools, at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste your money. Why well, it's important to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. Even though we demonstrate here on a BMW 3 Series, 3 and 4 Series are built on the same platform, many of the things will be really close or about the same. But specifically we will explain about BMW 4 Series in this video today. Before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you guys need to find fuses, relays for that BMW 4 Series generation from 2013 to 2019, we'll make video for every single fuse relay. Why? Because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located. You have multiple hidden fuses, you can find it, replace it, get back on the road guys, fix that problem because otherwise, okay, you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, guys. All that will be on our channels. Check it out. Let me show you where you can find more about it. Right here, we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you need to buy parts, tools, fuses for your BMW or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. So let's start on it now. So here guys we're going to explain on 2015 BMW 4 series okay uh, about okay uh, specifically guys okay for the starter relay you guys have up to six different fuse boxes in this car that's right up to six different fuse boxes in this car most people know about two or three of them but you have up to six now if you open the hood guys on your BMW for any of you that uh, are looking for the starter relay right in front of the windshield on the passenger side and behind the shock tower you have one trim piece. Remove that and you get to a fuse box. Before we guys continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So here now that fuse box will talk guys some of you may not have a starter relay okay and if you don't what you need to do you have multiple fuses that you need to check as well it will be computerized ver uh, computerized functions so now talking right here guys okay that's uh, that's the uh, starter distribution module right here you have integrated fuses here you have uh, integrated kind of like uh, computerized relay function. So right here guys, it's integrated right here. Some of you may have a relay uh, that looks kind of like uh, you may have two wires, uh, three wires going to it, two attaching with bolts and one with a uh, plug-in. But uh, ours, the only relay that we have here is for the radiator fan. Also in the trunk, okay, you need to check in the trunk on the right side, okay, right there. Now, uh, where the uh, uh, the cover is, if you remove it, you may have another relay there. Check it out. If you don't, uh, it's practically part of the computer function. In that way, okay, uh, you just need to check the fuses, okay, for the powertrain. And powertrain fuses, guys, where they're located first, will come in the fuse box uh, under the hood. That's what it looks like, that main fuse box. Here, uh, that's the road towards the windshield, the front of the car. Passenger side, driver side, starting here with fuse 18, that's fuse 19, you will need to check. Fuse 21, fuse 23 will need to be checked, guys. Then you need to check 36, 37, okay, right there, 43, 
and 44, 5, 46, 47. After that guys you need to go to the trunk, the main fuse box is under the cargo liner, pull it out, you see another fuse box and that fuse box will look like this one here, you will need to check guys for more fuses, we are talking specifically uh, now about fuse 137, that fuse right here, 137, then you need to check fuse number 144, 145, 146. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful, thank you for watching and see you next time.